Hey guys, I wanted to pop on and do a video about thermal waters and skin spritzers and refreshers for this time of year. Um, I have five to share with you. I've tested them all out and I think they're fantastic. And I have been getting a couple of questions about what they're for. Um, because a lot of people understandably don't know or they're not sure whether they can use it for a specific purpose. So I thought I'd go through the five that I have here. Wow. This is the thermal water that I have. It's the Othermal Thermal Spring Water. Um, it's soothing, anti-irritating. This is the 150ml bottle. This is £6.50. I believe they also stock a 300ml bottle, which is about £10, so very good, um, very good price. This is for sensitive skin. What you can do with this, it's endless. Um, you can spray this on sunburn. You can spray this as part of your um, cleansing routine after you take your makeup off. You can spray this as a skin refresher throughout the day. You can also use it on babies. It's perfectly safe to use on babies, nappy rash, um, eczema, anything like that. This is pretty proven stuff to at least help it, if not clear it up completely. Um, anything like that, if you have excellent skin irritations, um, bites, uh, it, it will soothe it. That's This is the kind of difference with thermal waters and then regular spritzing face mists. Um, this thermal water pretty much does it all. Um, it, it razor burn, you can use it on, it says on the back here, you can use it after hair removal. Uh, facial redness uh, in complement to a drying treatment, various irritations, any sort of rash after exercise, um, and you can also use this to set your makeup. Now, this is something that people keep asking me how does a water set your makeup? Well, the fantastic thing about this one is it actually leaves a film of silica over the skin, which of course comes from the, uh, the way it's filtered through uh, the rocks and the mountains. And uh, when you spray this on clean skin, after it's dried down, it's like a film. It's this really beautiful, like brightening film. Another one I have here, which I mentioned and raved about in a glossy box uh, video recently, is by Anatomicals. This one is six pounds, this is 100 ml. Spray is fantastic. It's scented, the Avene is not scented at all. Also, what I forgot to say about the Avene is it comes out, it's not a spritz. It's not like a whoosh of water in the face. It's like kind of fine water droplets. It's stunning. It's not like a big catch in the face of water. It's really, really fine. Um, it's a really fine mist. It's fantastic. This one, um, however, is a little bit more urgent. <laughs> it comes out a little bit quicker and a little bit more of it. Um, but you can understand that. It's the, it's a different kind of, it's a different kind of uh, spray cap. Uh, but this one is um, a general skin refresher. I have used this over my makeup. I've used it just now when I came in uh, from a very long walk that I've been on. I've walked over two miles in this heat. I'm Mental, right? I'm mental. Okay. Um, but I've just used this after I've come in. I spray this on the back of my neck. I've pretty much sprayed it everywhere. I spray it on my legs. I've sprayed it on my face over my makeup. Um, this has a scent in it. This has actually got aloe vera in it as well and witch hazel. So you can use this on your face. You can use it over your makeup. Um, I've done both. Um, however, I would say kind of if you really want something that's a little bit more gentle, then I'd go for the Avene. But this one, if you don't mind and you can't just hold it far enough away and spritz, all, spritz away to your heart's content, this is a really nice one. It's also got lavender in it and it has rose in it and something else what else peppermint so perfect this one's kind of a cooling one um, it's just it's fantastic I wouldn't put this necessarily on irritation or sunburn or anything like that um, but it does have witch hazel in it so it's a it's it's kind of a it's just what's best for you um, you know if you if you've got a bite or something I wouldn't put it on it maybe sunburn because it's got witch hazel in it and that's very good at soothing but um, I would just use this pretty much as a general all-over skin refresher the next one I have to share with you is one that is pretty much famous if not infamous it's the Mac fix plus everybody goes on about this either the people love it or they hate it or they're not quite sure about it I've had two bottles of this I really like it this one has caffeine in it um, as opposed to the others it is a skin refresher and a finishing, finishing mist. The only thing about the MAC Fix Plus I find is that the spray on it is pretty... It doesn't give a mist, it kind of just gives a squirt. So you do have to hold it quite far away. Um, and if you do that, it's fine. Um, you can't really get into it if you wanted to add anything to it, like a kind of, a, you know, an oil or anything like that. So that's kind of annoying. But it does the job. This is 100ml. I believe this is about £13. Um, so pretty pricey. But it does have caffeine in it. I believe it has green tea in it. Um, this one, of course, because it has caffeine in it, will kind of 
anti-puff any areas on your face. This is pretty much, uh, this can be used as a, a mixing medium if you want to turn a powder eyeshadow uh, into kind of more of like a foiled effect. If you want to turn a pigment into a cream, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much for that. Uh, this is a makeup artist staple, I'd say. Everybody has a use for this. It's pretty fantastic stuff. Um, however, you know, I don't really think it does any more than, say, the Avene or the Anatomicals. Um, I think it's very nice, and you can use it for a lot of different makeup artist-related things. But if you're not into doing that, I really wouldn't go and pay £13 for it, because, you know, you could just go and get the Avene, um, and it's super sensitive, and it's, it's, you know, there's nothing nasty in it that may, you know, irritate you. This one, I'm not so sure. Um, it just depends. Uh, I'll link them all down below so you can go and have a look at the ingredients for yourself. But this one's pretty much for makeup artists and people that like to kind of mix stuff together and stuff like that. But it is good. It is nice. I do find with this one, it does tend to get a little bit dewy if you overdo it. Um, but it's a nice finishing mist. It's very, very nice. A um, little bit pricey, but it does last a very long time. The other one I have is more of a kind of toner. However, I have been using it as a finishing mist kind of, or rather a mist that I use after I've taken my makeup off with. This is the Dr. Jar Most Moist Water Act Skin Mist. It's GMO free, soothing and hydrating. Um, and this is very, very nice. This doesn't smell of anything at all. Not one thing. It's really nice. It doesn't have any nasty things in it at all. Um, I would say this is pretty much to be used after you've taken your makeup off. I just think it's better that way. I wouldn't imagine, I mean, I, I wouldn't imagine it was, it's gonna do a lot for your makeup, really. Um, so I would just pretty much use this as kind of a, a refresher if you don't wear any makeup or after you've taken your makeup off with. It's very nice stuff. I believe this is about 16 pounds. It could be, could be a little bit more than that. I'm not sure. I will put it down below and you can get this in boots. This is, how big is this? Quite big. <laughs> Quite big. 150. The last one of my favourite kind of skin mists. Um, this is fantastic. This is pretty much stellar. I love this one. It's by Balance Me. It's from their Daily Essentials range, and this is the Skin Bright Hydrating Face Mist with Hyaluronic Acid. Now, Hyaluronic Acid is uh, able to hold like a thousand times its weight in water and stuff like that. You you all, you all know the drill. Um, so it's pretty good for your skin. It says that this shake bottle well spritz uh, fine mist over clean skin to tone or over makeup to fix and refresh. Um, the difference with this one is it's got so many good things in it. Of course it has no parabens, sulfates, petrochemicals, mineral oils, all that sort of nasty stuff. You don't want any of that. You can put this in the fridge. You can put all of them in the fridge. Um, this one has so many nice things in it. Let me tell you just here. It has pineapple, rose floral water, uh, super hydrating hyaluronic acid, neroli, spikenard, which I'm not quite sure what that is, um, bergamot, uh, which apparently leaves your skin primed, plumped, and replenished. So there you go. It has so many nice things in it. Let me just show you the bottle. So this is more, this is, you know, not an everyday one, I wouldn't say, but if you just wanted one and you wanted to treat yourself to something that's got lots of nice things in it, I'd it's a glass bottle, apart from anything else. The bottle's absolutely stunning. It is glass, it's beautiful. Just a really nice spray. It comes out as a very fine mist. It smells lovely. And you know what? This, I think, is doing your skin a lot of good as well as adding moisture. You can use this over your makeup. I used this before I put my makeup on today and then I used it to finish it off. It takes away the powdery look, um, but it doesn't leave you overly dewy looking. So I think that's fantastic. And it's got so many good ingredients in it. It's just. It's, it's got to be good. This is £20. This is the most expensive out of all the ones I've showed you, but it's definitely worth it. I love it. If you want something a little bit special, it's 60 mil, um, and it doesn't have anything nasty in it at all. So if you're super sensitive, I would go and get this one because I think it's really nice. Perfect present as well. If you have somebody that has a birthday this time of year, ah, oh, this is fantastic. I will leave this linked down below. It's it's really special. It's like this cocktail of fantastic, really good skin soothing things. So this is pretty much the pièce de résistance of the five that I've showed you. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope it kind of answers some questions that some of you have had about what to do with them. So uh, yeah, as I said, I hope that was helpful. If you've got any more questions about sort of uh, thermal waters or skin spritzers, leave them down below. But those are my favourites of the summer and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.